It is the 2001 Nissan Skyline 25 GT Turbo ER34 from Oshima, and it is today's What's in the Box look. Hey guys, welcome to another What is in the Box. Today we are taking a look at the new Nissan Skyline 25 GT Turbo ER34 for the 2001 model year. It's going to be new from Oshima. Been out for a short, short time now. Uh, about two weeks now, give or take. It's going to be a new tooled kit. I'm not sure 100% new tooled, but a majority of it looks to be new tooled. This is going to be one of two versions. The second version is the wheel option version that has a set of TE37s with some ground effects pieces. This is going to be the stock version, obviously. So just a little bit of vari variation between the two. This is also going to follow suit with the Pro Box. This is the new Oshima that I was told was coming. Basically, um, the new direction they're going. The whole front clip is going to be separate, just like on the Pro Box. So let's jump into it and take a look and see what is in the box. Getting started with the body, and you can see a lot of stuff that makes up the body. I wanted to cover it all at one time. You can see it's also molded in a very nice, lovely shade of metallic blue. All right, personal opinion aside, as you can see it is a multi, multi, multi piece body. Uh, the front clip is all completely separate just like the just like on the pro box and the other thing you'll notice too is that a lot of the trim stuff is also missing as well they put that on the clear parts we'll touch on that when we get on so there is the main body so you have the separate front bumper you have a couple of choices of uh, deck spoilers first choice there, choice A, and you have choice B there. You have the rear bumper cover there, and the parts tree that has the rest of the front clip, your hood and the front fenders and some other bits as well. I believe those are going to be... Uh... Alright, taking a look at first of the parts trees. This is going to be basically all the uh, running gear, suspension, all that stuff, parts tree. All right, a couple parts on here you won't be using in this kit. Uh, this piece right here and these two pieces right here you will not be using. But everything else you will. Some of these pieces on here look like they have been used or from other some of the other Nissan kits and some of the other Skyline and uh, da, 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 Sylvia kits. So good, I don't think this is a true 100% new tool kit. I think this is there's various bits that are new tool, but some of these are carryovers from other kits, which makes sense. Now we'll take a look at the interior parts tree. If you look down here, you'll know that you have a couple of choices. Uh, you have two separate steering, two choices of steering wheels, center consoles, pedals. You have a choice of if you want to do an automatic or if you want to do a standard. So you have your choices there to depend on which one you want to make. And there are the seats and the dashboard there. And the chassis. Now, following suit with the Pro Box, they're doing this as well. And here is there is going to be no interior bucket like we're used to. Everything's going to attach to the top part of the chassis, which is kind of I don't know how you look at it. Which means you're going to have a basically you're going to have a uh, stripped uh, floorboard interior. A bit of nice that they kind of smooth it out or at least done some uh, texturing on it to give it a give it that you know interior look. Really, is it going to matter that much when it's all said and done and it's completed? You're not really going to even be able to see the floorboard of the completed model. Out of the next parts bag, we got a couple here. Uh, first, we'll look at the uh, clear parts, excuse me, the chrome plated parts. <clears throat> get your tail light, headlight buckets, and your grill, which is molded in chrome. Kind of silly, but there's a chrome uh, trim piece around the grill, so they just went ahead and molded the whole thing in chrome. That is, that. and then just like the Pro Box, they're including some uh, deflectors, sunroof, and for the windows that are in transparent smoke. 
And I'm kind of scratching my head on this one why they molded the wheels in blue. Uh, I mean, it's great that I don't have to strip the chrome, but blue. Now we're going to take a look at the clear parts. Normally, I like to leave the clear parts in the bag, but I want to show some of the stuff that I won't talk about. I need to bring them out. Uh, so you can see there on the side of the windows is some of the uh, trim pieces or what have you. Uh, stuff that's normally attached to the body has been done on the windows and even with the front and rear windows, the trim around the windows that's usually on the body has been put on the clear parts. Which I guess in a sense is kind of nice that way. Now you don't have to worry about masking the body to do the paint the trim. You just do it on the windows. You're done so save some time and some a lot of masking and masking tape on the window. So I will slowly come to like it this way. I'm still not a fan of it just yet, but I'll come around to it more than likely at some point. The headlight lens is down there. And some other marker lights down there. And the rear window with the defroster lines. And they went ahead and did the taillights for you in a transparent red. So here we have some various pieces. Uh, four springs for the suspension that will more than likely be working. Obviously your poly caps with the wheels. And uh, photo etch uh, license plate backing pieces. Turn on attention to the tires. And the good news is they do have some sidewall markings. Uh, There is the uh, Yokohama's and wrapping things up or last but not least I guess we can say some other right, so first uh, there you have the window maskings the decal sheet which obviously is not going to be very full because it's just a passenger car there you see what you got and you all notice you also note that this has some wheel decals which will be used on the wheel option kit and last but not least, it's going to be a set of um, metal transfers there that you can use in, for some of the uh, badging instead of the decals. So I think that about does it for this What's in the Box. Look at the uh, 2001 Nissan Skyline 25 GT Turbo ER34 from Ashima. The stock version, like I said, they have the wheel option version that, has the, that comes with a set of uh, E37s and some ground effects. So on that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.